On a night when so many kids have a hard time getting to sleep, Benita Nair has just the story to end the broadcast. Oh no, we'll have to start all over. Like most two-year-olds, Hudson Cowan is not a big fan of nap time. That is one of the biggest issues for parents is how do I get a child to go to sleep? We're going to read the book first. That's why his mom, Bailey Gaddis, was okay. eager to try a book that promises to soothe a child into slumber. I'm going to tell you a story that can make you feel very sleepy. It's called The Rabbit Who Wants to Fall Asleep. The yawns are written into the story. The characters have names like the heavy-eyed owl and the sleepy snail. There are even notes for when you should read slowly. Allow yourself to fall asleep. It worked on Hudson. It's worked on so many kids that it's become an Amazon bestseller in the U.S. and five other countries. That is rare for any book, let alone one that started out self-published with illustrations drawn by a friend. Swedish author and behavioral scientist Carl Johan Erlen says he came up with the idea watching his mom sleep in the car. I woke her up and I told her, oh, I got this great idea, we got to write this down, and we started looking for paper everywhere. How did you test it? I went to preschools and asked them to read it when they had this group nap time, uh, and they did for a week, and they were pretty amazed. Now some people can fall asleep right away. I was curious if it would work on my own son. Very tired now. It didn't happen immediately, but when I read it the second time, he fell asleep. But it doesn't work on every child. A quarter of the Amazon reviews are just one star. Big fat freaking fail, writes one parent. My two-year-old hates this book and begs me to not read it, writes another. And it goes against the advice of many sleep experts who say kids need to learn to fall asleep on their own. But Gaddis says it's been a lifesaver for her family. It's really effective and it put me to sleep a few times. And isn't that the dream of every parent? Vanita Nair, CBS News, New York. And that's the CBS Evening News for tonight. For Scott Pelley, I'm Jim Axelrod. Merry Christmas and good night.